All right, this next one is from Kyle. He says, hey, guys, great podcast. Um, and he's responding specifically to episode 14, but he wants to know, he says that he resides in southern Quebec, and he says, and having seen all of Randall's videos, I have become very interested in geology, so much so that although I have an MBA, I plan on starting a degree in geology next year. I know Randall has discussed potential impact crater sites in Canada, primarily the one in Lake Ontario and the one north of Lake Superior. Mm-hmm. Have any one of you guys looked at Lac Saint Jean, which is north of Quebec City, as a potential impact crater site? Looking at the topographical maps, it appears to me, at least, that there is the potential for a massive flooding event from Lake Saint Jean into the Saint Lawrence River. I am looking at possibly traveling up there this summer to look at the region. And thanks. This is from Kyle. This is from Kyle. It's Kyle. not me. <laughs> not <Okay>. this Kyle. <laughs> okay, this is the other Kyle. That's All right. <laughs> Okay. That wants to go back to school. Kyle, uh, I actually, I'm sure I'm probably the only one, but I have looked at Lake St. Jean. And it has, to me, all the characteristics of a melting epicenter and a great rush of water towards the east into the uh, river. Absolutely. And I'm going to pull up um, the, uh, I'll do a screen share here, and we will pull up the digital map so that we can share this with everybody because it's quite interesting. All right. Are we seeing this? We're seeing it. All right. Notice the circularity here. Oh yeah. Yeah. And check this out. Look at this. This looks like some serious erosion in through yes. here to the, to the Southeast and actually look to the Northwest. It looks like you might've had a, um, a rush of water up to the north, which probably would have then backflowed. And yes, I think this could be a prime candidate, Kyle. So here's what I'd like to do. Stay in touch. Before you go, I'll do some, see what I can dig up uh, as far as the specifics. Maybe Brad might help me too on that. And we'll see if we can't find some specific places where you could actually go visit and document some stuff for us. Oh, uh, yeah. Because this is actually, when I discovered this, I thought this would be worth the road trip right here. So, Kyle, you could do a little reconnaissance for us. How about that? Um, and we will uh, let us know when you're planning to go uh, so we have a better idea of how much time we got. Um, I presume it would be later in the spring or summer. Um, when, yeah, you when said site, summer. Summer, yeah. So we, we got plenty of time. We'll do some research. We'll come up with some sites and figure something out that you can go. And I'm sure there's going to be some documentation that could happen there. I have no doubt. I mean, I'm looking here yeah. at these, at these spillways here through here. And I would bet we'll find some really interesting stuff that you can uh, photograph or video for us. And uh, who knows, then maybe then we could follow up, bring a whole team up there. Yeah. So I think that's excellent. That's excellent that you brought that up. That's one of those things. I, I do a lot of map work and a lot of study on the, on the maps and Google Earth and so on. And yes, I had actually found this um, and noticed the similarity between it and Lake Nipigon, which I'm going to pull over here, uh, which we've already looked at as a potential impact site because we do know that there was a massive outrush of water to the south that created this landscape that we see right here. And we have spillways, the Black Sturgeon River spillway. Like this right here was a major discharge uh, conduit coming down here. And if you check this out, what we have here, notice we have the uh, typical case of an underfit river you'll notice that the river is much smaller than the channel in which we see it. Let me see if I can shift over to satellite here. And let's see if we can get 3D in here and have a look. Yes, you can see there's, there's, a, there's a spillway all through here, and the modern river is much smaller than the spillway. And if we go down here, we'll see that there's a massive splayed-out fan-like deposit at the mouth of all of this. So we've already been planning a trip to do some 
field research up here around the Nipigon region. And they explore the possibility that this might have been an impact site. Some interesting stuff here. I mean, we see um, central islands that might be remnants of a, of a multi-ring structure. I'm trying to think of the geologist's name. Teller. James Teller has done the work on this area. And we'll get to that. We're going to come back. When we start talking about the, the, the catastrophic melting and the, and the mega floods, we will come back to this. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you this because it's extremely interesting. This erosion here is pretty spectacular. And there is evidence from bona fide geologists that have spent decades studying this area that there were mega floods through this region. And, interestingly, the, de the mega flood that Teller uh, looked at and published papers on uh, is dated to right around 12,900. So, that's a, that's very auspicious. So yeah. So then let's get back to um, this one. You'll notice here you have the same kind of a thing. You have a, a basin that now holds a lake. It has arcuate. Almost you know three fifths of it here is arcuate, um, and then you have what looks like could be large scale mega flood outwash, which would make sense. And so yes. That's a good find, Kyle. Keep up the good what? work, man. Arcuate. Arcuate. Yes. A R C U A T E. Add that to your vocabulary, folks. Simply okay. mean arc shaped. Arcuate. Ah. Got it. Got it. I know. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Sometimes you're a little slow on the draw, Russ, but, <laughs> but. I just, you know, I got to ask. Yeah, so sure. I'm, I'm teasing. I yeah. Heard, I, yeah, right. I heard the word arc in there, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know what it means, but I want to make sure. Yeah, that's what yeah. it means. You just got yeah. ar an arc shaped, arc arc shaped form. That's all. Right. Arc eight. So, I want hey, to say you know what your else? New internet connection and your ability to scroll around maps and Google Earth and yeah. Google Maps is is spectacular. Also, it is awesome. I know it is. It really is. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop the share. All right. So okay, great. That was a, that, yeah, that was good. Thanks, Kyle. Yes. yes. Looking and, forward uh, to 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 um, going further with this. Absolutely. Right. We we'll keep in touch. You just love it that people are paying attention and they're they're reading the landscape with the with these new eyes that that Randall's opened up for them. Yeah, it's yes. awesome. And yeah. so yeah, Kyle's definitely onto something. We need to get up there. <laughs> 